Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. You are back to Inha Brown and her husband, Kola Walea Jeyemi, show their sincere appreciation to everyone who made their son, Iriolua Jeyemi's first birthday. Remarkable one. So he says, on behalf of Iriolua, we want to specially appreciate everyone who celebrated with us yesterday. We are very grateful to everybody who sent cakes, called, made videos, did Instagram posts, sent text messages, gifts, and so on. We feel so blessed to have you all in our lives. Abadurakbe, Iriayo, Owo, Omo, Ati, Alafia, Kunitoni, Nule, Bubuwa, Ami, Eshe, Pupo, Yo, Sincerely, the personal assistant to the celebrant. Also, our husband, Kola Wale Ajiemi, says, Blessings for you all over the world. Thanks for the love and kindness. Thanks for making 13th of August a remarkable day for our son. My joy and high. We are so grateful. Thanks for being there. Iroluwa loves you. Iroluwa JME had a big birthday yesterday as the social media went agog and he also received a lot of gifts. So Yehabram also gifted her son a customized Lamborghini to celebrate the big day. She also had a customized number plate. She shared the photos of the newly bought luxurious vehicle for her baby Iri. The customized plate of the toy car read Mr. Ajay Yemi. Also, just yesterday, Uluwa Tony Abraham made the announcement that Iri Uluwa is going to be starting his own business very soon. It's educational, interesting, and addictive. Iri Uluwa is set to become a CEO at just one year old. So, happy first birthday once again to Iri Uluwa Ajay Yemi. We stole in her She was one Tony and Marco, and she is one of the most popular actresses in Yoruba Hollywood. She came into the Nigerian film industry in the year 2003 and since then she has gone on to become a household name. She's also a director and a filmmaker. Her movie talent are not only the reason she's admired by so many people. She has quite an interesting personality and life. Toy Abram was born on September 15, 1984 in Aochi Edo State. But then she spent most of her childhood days in Ibadan in Oyo State. Her original birth name is Olutoy Aimako. This actress is the youngest of five children in her family. Even though she was not born rich, she generally describes her childhood as very healthy, funny and busy. Her parents were into various family activities, but their main vocation was in religion. Her mother is a pastor and her father worked for Hebrew organization before he retired when Tony was a child. And before he passed then, he used to help his wife with church-related programs. Tony Habra myself has two diplomas in marketing from polytechnic institutions in Austrian State and Oyo State. She also acquired a bachelor's degree in philosophical science from Olabisi Onobanjo University. Before obtaining a higher education, this actress was a pupil in St. Anne's School. In those days, she learned to play drums, football, and handball. She was quite good in sports, that she even joined the state team. She began her acting career in 2003 when another Nigerian film star, Buki Wright, arrived at Ibadan to shoot a movie. Initially, she used to play small background roles but then rose to stardom, taking on lead roles. She has featured in numerous blockbuster movies. Some of her movies include Ala Kada, Omwele Mosho, Aitale, Ebimini, Alani Baba Lavake, Love is in the Hair, Okafa's Law, Celebrity Marriage, Tattoo, Rise on Strike, London Fever, Hakunde, Ala Kada Reloaded, Mentally, Esoe, The In-Laws, Dance to My Heart, Disguise, The Ghost and The Tout, Seven and a Half Dates, What Just Happened, Two weeks in Lagos, Nimbi, Don't Get Mad, Get Even, Made in Heaven, The Millions, Casanova, Blink Legosians, and Elevator Baby, among others. She's also a multiple award-winning actress. Some of her awards include Best Actress Alakada Ben TV Awards 2014, Best Indigenous Nigeria Entertainment Awards 2014, The Best Supporting Actress Feature Film Akunde, Five Continent International Film Festival 2017, Best Actress in Hollywood, Mockley All Youth Awards 2017, The Best Female Act Nigeria Entertainment Awards, 2017, Best Actress Alakada Reloaded, Exquisite Lady of the Year, 2017, and Best Supporting Actress Start to Africa Magic Via Choice Awards, 2018, among others. She has also been nominated for several awards, including Best Supporting Actress Yuba Ebimini Best of Nollywood Awards, 2013, Best Actress in a Supporting Role, SOA, Africa Movie Academy Awards, 2018, and Best Actress in a Supporting Role, Diamond in the Sky, English Best of Nollywood 2019, among others. Another interesting thing about Tony Abraham is her name change. Change is the only constant thing in life. However, it is a very daunting process. Most times, some people stay on the same spot even if it does not favor them due to the fear that the next time might not be better. However, some people have taken a leap of faith. 
and have been grateful that they did. Such is what this actress did to Abraham. When a child is born, he or she is given a name, and this is what that child will be called for the rest of his or her life, except that child decides to change it. A name also sort of represents acknowledging fresh starts. This Giovanna Lude actress to Abraham started her own new beginning, which she symbolized by changing her name three years ago. Her last name used to be Aimaku, as mentioned earlier. Presently, in the entertainment industry, Toyin is one of the much-loved actresses, and her fans are called Toyin Titans. However, this was not the case a few years ago. Toyin used to be a celebrity that was showed by controversies. Despite that, she forged her head and tried to revamp her image, starting with the name change from Aimaku to Abraham. Now, things appear to be far much better for this film star and she took to her Instagram page to acknowledge her blessings. This was just one month ago. Tony said that it has only been three years since she changed her last name and that it has been one massive journey of transition and faithfulness of God. In her words, there was a Tony Aymaku then to Abraham happened three years ago. Let's not forget, the new Tony is just three years ago. It has been one massive journey of change and faithfulness of God. What a journey, living my life at my pace and being at peace with my pace, she said. As to Abraham and her husband, Kola Wole Ajayemi, celebrated their son's birthday. In the mood of the celebration, her husband, Kola Wole Ajayemi, shared a throwback video of when Tony was still carrying their baby in her womb. He was spotted dancing and touching a huge bump as this actress showed some sign of tiredness. He also shared a video showing the way the one-year-old face was, however, not revealed in this video. As expected, a lot of fans and followers and their colleagues took to their comment section to celebrate with this couple. Some of Tony Abraham's quotes include, when you make a mistake, be quick to say it out loud. It only becomes a problem when you fail to admit it. You cannot motivate people with what you do not know. When you fall and you stand, it makes you great. When you don't listen to the voice of the Lord, then you listen to the voice of the devil. Don't dwell too much on what people tell you, so you don't have to relax. Keep moving. We are all beggars and hurts. It's either we are begging for money, happiness, health, etc. Let's be humble. By the time you analyze issues carefully, you would realize that the so-called critics are people who don't know you. They form their opinions based on what they see on screen or what they hear people say. How about medicine go as far back as we can remember? It is how our great-grandparents and grandparents survived and thrived. Life is too short to dwell on things that make you unhappy. To be great in life, you have to be willing to be mocked, hated, and misunderstood. Happiness is personal. Don't let people determine your happiness. Motherhood is a journey, a reality check where you realize that your life is no longer your own. Even a labor room, to live or not to live, is in the hand of God. Who is doing Abraham's husband? As mentioned earlier, his name is Kola Wale Ajayemi. His full name is Kola Wale Uluwa Shegu Ajayemi. He's a popular Yubana Ludo actor and a filmmaker who was born on January 17th. He's from Obomo Show in New York State. His acting career started professionally in the year 1997. He's an actor, director, producer, and model who caught his teeth under the mentorship of Shogun Ogunbe. Shogun Ogunbe is a popular director and the nephew of the late actor and filmmaker Akin Ogunbe. Kola Wale Ajayemi got married to this popular actress during her brand on the 4th of July 2019. He also has a teenage daughter named Demitokwe Ajayemi. This was this was long before he ever met Tony Abraham. Tony Abraham delivered their son, Iroluwa Jeremy, at this time last year, in 2019. Kolawale Jeremy is the founder of Ajio Maji School of Performing Arts, situated in Abiokuta in Ogun State. He's also the brain behind Kolawale Clothes. We're saying congratulations once again to this couple and happy birthday again to Iroluwa Jeremy. We have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and later on a two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.